Mark Denham at Breakfast Podcast. Hello, welcome to episode 236 of the best bits of the Atom Radio Breakfast Show. And this is Mark Denham, and you can catch me Monday to Friday, 6 until 10, actually doing the Atom Radio Breakfast Show. But here we are now reviewing another week and another week's best bits. And on the way this week, an anti aging tip that doesn't work, you can save time on that, a massive AI failure, and we talked about why pets are better than partners. We then, a day later, something came to my mind from an answer, do pets keep secrets? We asked, what did you last ask for help for? We spoke about when it's acceptable to break wind in front of a partner for the first time. And also, we questioned who would you not go on holiday with? And all that is on the way in the podcast. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. At some radio online, on mobile, on smart speaker. We are the home of the anthems all day long morning. Welcome to Monday and the start of a brand new week. I hope you had a, a lush weekend. Well, if you did over the weekend, I hope it went well. And hopefully if you had a barbecue, you did it on Saturday before it rained on Sunday, which wasn't quite so good, eh? Wasn't quite so good, but there we are. Strictly launched at the weekend. That's something else to avoid through the entire winter this year for me. Uh, Drinking white or green tea every day will minimise the environmental damage done to your skin and minimise fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, What's white tea? Is that tea with milk? Or is that some kind of posh tea? Because I don't drink any kind of posh tea. I just drink tea uh, and I put milk in it. That's me, just ordinary tea with milk in. Uh, And if if, if that's true, white tea is supposed to be ordinary tea with milk in, then that doesn't work. This is Mark Denham. At breakfast. Atom Radio. You know how AI is apparently like the future? Yeah, it's the future. Well, AI is also being used for shopping as well. And this has amused me. Co-op delivery robots confused and had to be rescued by firefighters. There we are, you see. There's AI taking over shopping. And these poor robots have been sent out with the intention of delivering your shopping. And they've just ended up confused and rescued by firefighters. How pathetic is that? See, AI is not the future yet. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. Today, the 19th of September, is Read an e-book day. Uh, speaking of which, by the way, I saw Theresa May. There was a, a tweet with Theresa May uh, reading her own uh, book, turning it into a, an e-book. Mm-hmm. If she was reading it, I definitely would not have it read to me. I can't stand her voice. Today is also Talk Like a Pirate Day. Arr, Jim Lab. It's the most you'll get out of me. Mark Denham. At breakfast. This is Atom Radio. Shall we find out then the definitive top five of reasons why pets are better than partners? At number five, my dog can get into bed and share the bed with me without stealing the covers. At number four, my dog doesn't hog the TV and watch rubbish programs. At number three, my cat doesn't spend a fortune on clothes and shoes. At number two, you can feed them the burned dinner that your wife has served you. And the top reason that pets are better than partners, we don't deserve dogs. They give unquestioned loyalty for all of their lives. And that is very true. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. You know what? I didn't think of this yesterday. I've just thought of it now while I'm sat here. Going back to Top 5 Tuesday yesterday, why are pets better than partners? Katie said, because you can tell your pet anything and they'll keep a secret and that is as far as we know true but you know when dogs go out and they woof at each other or when cats go out and they meow at each other how do you know then that they're not doing the dirty and spilling your secret you know you don't know do you what they're saying when they're woofing or meowing at each other you just have no idea mark denham at breakfast this is atom radio a new study has been done by age uk And it shows alarmingly that almost half of over 65s across the UK struggle to use the internet. One in five find it difficult to use web browsers like Chrome and Safari. 23% can't even switch on their devices at all. And adjusting font sizes, volume and screen brightness are also problems for more than a quarter. This contributes to a heightened sense of exclusion for the elderly, elderly even, or the older generation whichever way you prefer, in the digital age. Today, with that in mind, given that these oldies are having to ask for help to use the internet from either their children or their grandchildren, I would imagine, I want to know today, what is the last thing that you had to ask for help with? And morning, Ellie. Happy Wednesday to you. Um, I'm trying my hardest, Ellie, not to laugh at your mishap here, 
but it's proving difficult. And there is also a slight sense of jealousy as well here because I can't remember the last time I got ID'd. Whenever I bought anything that needs ID, just go straight through. Nobody even asks anymore. But Ellie said, I had to ask my other half to get some alcohol on the way home because I got turned down for alcohol in the shop. I went out and I took just my phone so I could pay using Apple Pay. And obviously, I didn't take my purse and therefore I had no ID with me, just my car keys, my house keys and my phone. And then they said to me, do you have some ID? I am 42 years old. Of course, I didn't have any ID with me. I didn't know I needed it. Well, you know, on the bright side, Ellie, at least you look young. You see, that's the important thing. Take that away from it. If you ignore the fact you didn't get your alcohol, take away the fact at least you look young. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. Thursday thoughts continue. The three C's of life. Choices, chances and changes. You must make a choice to take a chance or your life will never change. Think on that and be happy be who you want to be and if others don't like it let them be happiness is a choice and life isn't about pleasing everybody this is mark denham at breakfast atom radio yesterday in the supermarket i was queuing behind a lady and the lady was on the phone now it wasn't on speakerphone so i could i have no idea who she was talking to and i have no idea the other side of the conversation But what she was explaining was the immense sense of embarrassment she felt after letting one rip in front of her other half, or as she put it, passing wind, which is the more polite way of putting it. But today, I want to know, at what stage in a relationship does it become acceptable to let one rip in front of your other half? On air at atomradio.co.uk is my email address on any given day, and this is the email that made me chuckle when I read it a few moments ago. Morning, Jane. Jane says... After what happened to me, I genuinely wouldn't mind letting one rip in front of another half after the embarrassment I have previously suffered. Now, here's the story and it will make you chuckle. Jane had an interview and it was the first time that she'd met the people who were interviewing her and she was being interviewed by the managing director and by the finance director. So two quite senior people in the company and there they are in this room, in this building, just the three of them and you know the interview she thinks is going well and she does say i was a bit nervous and then all of a sudden she let one rip she didn't even know it was coming but she let one rip and she said it sounded to me like it was echoing around the room and i know it's probably sounds far worse to me than it actually was at the time but i just thought oh no i haven't got the job let the ground open up and swallow me but what she said is that they both kind of had a little smile with each other. The uh, the finance director and the managing director both had a little smile with each other. Uh, and then the uh, the MD said to her, are you OK? Are you nervous? And she said yes. And that kind of broke the ice. And she went on and she smashed the interview, got called back for a second interview and did get the job. But after that, she said, I'm not embarrassed now uh, about in front of another half because, you know, it's not as important, is it, in front of another half? as it is in front of whoever it is you are trying to impress to get a job. And I'm so glad it works out well for you in the end, Jane. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. Atom Radio, home of the anthems all day long. Morning then, welcome to Friday. How much would you pay for a carton of chips? One woman is absolutely raging after she was charged nearly a fiver for a carton of chips. It's a uh, chip shop owner who's defended charging nearly £5 for this carton of chips amid the cost of living crisis. Wow, that makes the charge for the uh, sauces at that posh chef's restaurant seem ridiculous, doesn't it now? Mark Denham. At breakfast. This is Atom Radio. A TikToker uh, who describes himself as a travel influencer has described the people that he doesn't want to travel with Uh, And this includes people who need to recharge their battery in the middle of the day and also people who sleep in on vacation. He sounds like a right killjoy, this bloke, doesn't he, if I'm honest? His name's Ben. Uh, And people have gone back at him in the comments, though, to his TikTok saying, you seem like you're new to travelling. And someone else has said, you are definitely not someone I would want to travel with. So it seems like, you know, he's managed to annoy a few people in the uh, the comments on his own TikTok. But what I want to know today is uh, what bad habit or what personality would make someone someone you didn't want to travel with? And it's on air at atomradio.co.uk as it is on any given day. If you would like to get in touch, then please do feel free. Morning, Mick, and happy Friday to you, my friend. Morning, Marky. 
Morning, Mickey. Can I call you Mickey? Do you mind? Uh, Mick says, the one person I definitely wouldn't want to go on holiday with is a social media influencer. So you're basically saying, Mick, the guy that's saying he doesn't want to go on people uh, on holiday with people who sleep in or have a little nap to recharge their battery in the day, he's definitely someone you wouldn't, wouldn't want to go on holiday with. Mick says, someone who's living their life for the perfect social media is definitely not someone I would want to spend my hard-earned time off with. Fair comment, Mick. Fair comment. Thank you for your email and have a lush Friday. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. I'd imagine that would ruin your holiday, if I'm honest. If you go with someone who just lives their life for the perfect Instagram shot, that is going to ruin your holiday, without a doubt, I would say. And back to breaking wind as well. Can you imagine that, being sat there in an interview? You're already quite nervous. And then... I mean, the, the one good thing, I suppose, is... After that, you're going to have eased your nerves because you can't really you can't really go more wrong, can you, than uh, breaking wind in an interview. And yes, I suppose once you've done that in an interview and you went on to get the job as well, you're probably not really worried, are you, about doing it in front of your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whatever friend it is that you have. So, yeah, thank you so much indeed. Once again, for checking out the podcast, that is a wrap for episode 236, Class Dismissed. Don't forget the show is on Monday to Friday, 6 until 10 on atomradio.co.uk. Online radio box, tune in, streamer as well. And you can listen on your smart speaker. Just say play Atom Radio on tune in and it will happen. And that all kicks off again Monday morning from 6 o'clock. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Mark Denham. At breakfast.